Hey guys, I've got the brand new iPhone 12 Pro in front of me. Sadly, it isn't mine, but I had the opportunity to do an unboxing, so I was like, why not? It's the Pacific Blue model, so let's get it unboxed, and then we'll take a closer look at it, and I'll also bring out its younger sibling, the classic iPhone 5. This is always the best part, and wow, that Pacific Blue is just beautiful, and I just love that Apple brought back the iPhone 5 design, because that's always been my favourite. It looks wicked, but we'll get to admiring it in a minute. So here you can see a few icons that illustrate what the buttons on the sides are, which I think is unnecessary, but that's just because I'm too familiar with them. Pretty handy if you're new to the iPhone world, although you'd definitely figure them out without this. But at least there's something you can take off to unveil the beauty that is the iPhone 12 Pro. Aside from the phone itself, you also get a USB-C to lightning cable. Now there's been a lot of negativity around this because there's no power adapter in the box, but the good news is that you can still use your old iPhone charger because the 12 Pro still has a lightning port. I would have preferred USB-C, but hey, soon enough there'll be no port because Apple are bound to go completely wireless, so that could partially explain their move. The last things in the box are the SIM eject tool, a bit of paper that nobody cares about, and only one Apple sticker this year. Apple are really cutting back, huh? And yeah, that's all you get. On to the iPhone. I think most people will agree that it's absolutely beautiful. The colour is very different, and it's not too vibrant and in your face, which I like about it. Design-wise, it's basically the iPhone 5's older sibling, it looks identical with this boxy shape, which I really, really love. It does feel a little chunky, but in a completely good way, because that gives it a really good grip. And because it's flat at the bottom, you can have it stand on a flat surface, which could be really useful for things like FaceTime calls. The sides are super shiny and reflective, so they will catch a lot of fingerprints, which isn't ideal, but the overall design is very nice. Let's take a closer look at the colour. I mentioned that it's not too vibrant and in your face, and you can see that it isn't. It definitely looks less blue in different lighting, but that's not a bad thing and probably means that you won't get too bored of the colour. Let me just bring out the younger sibling, the classic iPhone 5. Well, it's actually the 5S, but you can see the similarities in design. The 5 has always been my favourite, so I'm glad Apple have basically reused the design for the 12 Pro. It's a classic and it just looks really nice. I'll be unboxing the graphite model next, so stay tuned and thanks for watching.